Hi viewers and welcome to another episode of House and Home. Me amo Maslow, you plan keeping me company tonight. Now, Valentine's Day is coming up and it occurs every 14th of February around the world where gifts, candies and flowers are exchanged between loved ones. Now, if you're someone out there who want to make the day special for your loved ones, on tonight's show, we've got you covered. So to start the show, we have a special feature. We feature a lovely couple who share their love journey with us. Here it is. Um, my name is Joe. Uh, her name is Mawesi. Uh, I'm with the PNGDF. I'm 55 years old, sweet 55, I believe, uh, because of the glory of God that is in my life. Um, I have um, six uh, kids and uh, two grandsons. Uh, sorry, grandchildren. Um, I think basically that's it. So maybe I'll let mom say something. Well, thank you very much. Um, my name is Nancy. As you can see on my left hand, he's my husband, Joe Mawesi. Yeah. I am 51 years old. It's, 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 it's a good question and it's a, it, it's a, it refreshes our minds and it takes our love back to the day we meet and it says first sight. Now my husband, I met him back in 1988 in June during a, an indoor sports, darts. We had a, um, we had a, a competition and it happened to be in Gerehu. And the first time I saw him, when he came and we were, he, we had um, two of us were we had our team together and we were playing. But you know, my children, that first day I saw him, the first time I saw him, it's like um, there was something in me pushing. He's the person, he's the person. But you know, it's very hard to tell him, I love you. I have to wait for him to tell me that he loves me. That was, the, that was how I met him. Uh, it was one of those nights that uh, I tagged along with, uh, with a brother and some friends, because they had a uh, town that they were members of uh, it must be that competition, and um, they on that particular night they had a, they had one of the uh, practices and uh, in Maya's house. She was living with the uncle, and then I happened to take along with them. Um, during that time, while they were practicing, they needed uh, some more players to be included in the team, and uh, they were pairing people like I don't know what they call that uh, game. It was like was it, was it two aside? No, no, no. There should be a right word for that. Yeah, or pairs, you know, they pair them together. And then when I came and asked them, am I in the team? And they said, oh, yes, you uh, you're paired with a young lady. Uh, what would be her name? They said, Nancy, where is she? And then at the same time, man, uh, like she was coming down the steps. Oh, that's Nancy. As soon as I looked up and I saw Noah, like she took my breath away. And then I could feel like my, um, I had my, the blood pressure was really high. I said, uh, this could be the one because I was almost five or six years older than her, maybe. I was ready for it, you know, to look for a partner and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, that time I wasn't, uh, I, I did not give my um, heart to the Lord, but during that time I, I said, the, the Lord has just answered my prayer. So uh, that's, it, it started from there and uh, we never looked back. <laughs> this year will be our 33 years of, our, of marriage. It's strong, isn't it? Married life is its not a simple, like simple or a walk in the park. It comes with uh, challenges. It comes with uh, like adversities. You have to go through thick and thin to make things happen. But uh, the one very important factor that I uh, learned all through this year is this. Uh, when you are connected with God, everything will be made possible. And um, I believe uh, this is one of the linchpin that really uh, brought Numa and I together during our challenges, but we were able to uh, conquer or we were able to overcome those challenges and, uh, that we face in life. And uh, like uh, as your question said, with the six kids that we raised and uh, together with the grandchildren, two grandchildren, 
it is because our connection uh, in God and with God. And like I said, everything is made possible. Even though we go through challenges, but He has given us the, the strength and the ability to overcome all these things. So, um, Mom and I gave our hearts to the Lord in 1996. It was a long, long time ago. And, uh, I praise God for that. It was a timely thing. It was during that time. I was still a soldier in the in the army. Uh, that time that you know, and um, it was very hard for me. And uh, during that time, I had about uh, three kids already. What was it three in the morning? Three, and uh, it, it was very tough for me as a father to uh, to look after the children and then they meet their needs as well as uh, mom's needs. It was very tough for me, but I thank the Lord that uh, he gave me the wisdom to accept him into my life so that I was able to make uh, some very, very important decisions. Um, some of them are like um, disassociate, disassociating myself myself from some relationships that did not really matter. I, I mean, uh, in a sense that some relationships are good to keep, some are not. That are not beneficial to uh, to me and for my family. Or what I did was I had to um, uh, the, uh, disassociate myself from them. Uh, these are some. The, this is the. Let me say, this is the major, major factor that really changed everything and made everything easy for me to overcome all the challenges in life. Yes, uh, to bring up children, six children, is not an easy thing, especially if, when you're working and then you're taking care of children because um, it's like um, there is so much of extra things to do and having a babysitter. You, it's, it's, it's very important um, to have a babysitter and at the same time to worry about the work and back at home and to also worry about my responsibility as a wife to my husband. It's very challenging. To us, Valentine's Day is an everything day, everything, every, every day activity for us. We don't uh, wait for the month or the year, the month that has been, um, you know, and then we will celebrate because uh, every Valentine Day is is a daily activity, is a daily thing. As long as we love one another and we cherish one another, we treasure one another, we appreciate one another, that's our Valentine's Day, and we love it so much. Thank you to this beautiful couple for sharing your love journey with us. Now, viewers, I hope you're inspired and blessed by this story. Well, it's time for a breather. I'll see you after this. Welcome back to the show. Now, if you just joined us, you're watching House and Home. Now, up next, we have Quick Stitch. So this time on Quick Stitch, I'll be showing you how you can make air pieces using fabric and artificial flowers. So let's see how it's done. I have a fabric that is 70 centimeter. As you can see, I measured it according to my head shape. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to fold this fabric in and I'm going to sew and I'm going to leave a opening here so we can run the elastic through it so i'm gonna start sewing so i'm gonna use straight stitch yeah so i'm gonna sew to the edge so I'm gonna put the press yeah. the foot down Folding. So what I'm going to do next, I'm done sewing my fabric and I'm closing the end, leaving a space for the um, elastic to go in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the elastic through it. If you want to run the elastic and if you don't have a safety pin, you can simply use a paper clipper. 
So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make a hole here. Uh huh. So I'm gonna put this thing back and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna lock it off. So, so I'm just gonna run this through. So this is how you run your elastic. Ta-da! And we finally came out here. So we are good to go. So we're just gonna spread it a bit. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this edge together. So we're done with our hairband for the hair piece. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna try it. Okay, it fits perfectly. So we're done sewing our episodes. So you can use any fabric of your liking, but this time I decided to go with blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this artificial flower and glue them onto the fabric. First, and I am going to put it here. I wanna put it in front of the fabric. Yep, here. So it's gonna stick the fabric because they are two so I'm going to stick it like this so we're almost done we're just gonna wait it to dry yeah so if you want to finish it off you can but if you want to keep it that way it's totally up to you Whatever flowers that you have, you want to continue, it's totally up to you. I'm done with my air pieces. You can add as many as you want to finish everything. But for me, I decided to just keep it as it is. So I'm going to try it on now. Okay. So this is the simple epis and I'm sure you want to try that out for yourself and make it special for your loved ones. So for more tips on quick stitch, keep watching House and Home. Valentine's Day is the perfect occasion to spoil that someone we love with flowers. Now, this time we check out green frog flowers. Hi! Yay! Good to Hi, see you! Uh, please come in, take a seat. Thank you. I love this basket. So oh, cute. Thank you. I'm so glad you came. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Uh, I'm Monica and I'm from Chimbu, Gumani, and I married a love my lovely husband. He's from Eastern Highlands. And I'm professionally, I'm a lawyer slash florist. My um, started as a hobby. I was I lived in rental homes for a really long time, and um, I wouldn't put any flowers that I had into the ground uh, or plants into the ground. I always had pots, so I think it started from there. We just overran our rental um, accommodation with lots of pot plants. Um, so then I started with, well, what can my husband challenge me, or well. I'm looking after all of these pot plants with you and what are we going to do about it? Are we, is this for fun or is this what we're going to make some money out of this? Because I was spending a lot of money on these pot plants. Um, and so with that challenge, I decided to um, try my hand in floristry and pot plant hire and all of that. Sourcing my flowers, I personally haven't, um, like, I didn't want to plant flowers of my own. Um, I 
really wanted to source this and pass on the blessing. So I was a pure buyer, um, and I still am. So I would buy um, flowers from the ladies at Nine Mile, Fourteen Mile, Seventeen Mile. I, that's where I get all my um, Port Moresby flowers from, and I would get other flowers. I'd have them flown down from Ley and uh, Eastern Highlands. So I have a buyer up there who does all the buying and sourcing for me. I've been blessed to be running um, Green Frog Flowers for around um, six years, um, but I've been really been at it full time for the last three. Um, I've been able to uh, employ close to four people that are on full-time pay. I think we wanted to just have a name that was, there's really no real story behind it. It's just that we wanted a name that was both memorable, um, quirky, fun, and um, I guess it could show up on, the, on your Facebook search if you put flowers in it. <laughs> so yeah. then we thought, okay, well, that's the name we'll use. And um, it's like, it's, as we thought it would be, it was memorable and, you know, we ended up, like people, when they heard it, they would respond to it. So that was really good. Yeah. Valentine's Day is one of like the big, um, big, usually in globally, it's the big florist, of the big event for florist. Um, in Papua New Guinea, it's not very popular, I would say, um, but we do, there's enough clients that do want to go out and order from, uh, me from all the other florists um, in Mosby and um, Mosby more so I don't know about other provinces but we're looking forward to Valentine's Day. For me I do floral arrangements, bouquets and recently I've gone into making gift baskets so I fill it up with um, your favorite chocolates, coffees, nuts, um, cheeses and I've been doing that for, yeah, for clients that want to offer um, an exceptional gift other than the usual. So the same, I'll be doing it again this Valentine's Day. Two of my staff are full time and the other two, I like they come in to do f um, flowers when I get big orders and um, I help them with, the, I've, I'm their sole sponsor in taking care of their school fees and um, bus fare and all of that. So. It's a big career change for me, but I love what I'm doing. I have, um, that's my passion, and I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day, and hopefully we'll have some great guys or girls that um, will reach out. So for Valentine's Day, um, we have decided that we're going to put together, it's sort of like a, f a floral basket, but we're including chocolates and it's part of the bouquet. Um, and so hopefully that will stand out and people will want to, yeah. Okay. And, uh, um, so I've made, I've partially finished one that, um, that I've been do working on. So this is an example of the floral um, stand that we're doing. A bas uh, it's like a slash chocolate bouquet. So we've put um, our real flowers on on a dry oasis. Normally we would put it on a wet oasis so that um, it can get water all through the whole week but um, this is the sample and I'm just going to finish it off for you. Okay. So I've put some chocolates on, put some so fresh flowers on um, so they can take apart their bouquet and put the flowers what not in a vase later on and of course enjoy the chocolate. So right now we're just going to cover the base, a uh, bit to the front a bit. So there's a bit more at the back rather than the front. And I start just folding it in. As you can see, so I'm just gonna turn it towards me. So that basically completes the kind of um, chocolate floral box that you will get. Mm -hmm. 
So viewers, if you're looking to purchase a flower for your loved one this Valentine's, you can check out Green Frog Flowers and Monica? Yes. We'll give you this lovely floral basket that has chocolates in it. Um, we can add scented fragrant candles, a teddy bear, a bottle of wine, um, coffee if your partner drinks coffee. So we can put all this together at Green Frog Flowers. So you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. That's www.greenfrogflowers. And recently we've joined up with Lewa Kana on her website. That's www.lewavogo. Um, and we've started putting our floral arrangements and our gift baskets on her website. So you can also pay there online. And also they do a free delivery, right? That's right. So viewers, that's it for this segment. I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back to the show. Now, still on the topic of love, it's the season where we share love with our loved ones. So this time on Life Hacks, I'll be showing you a simple hack that you'd like to try at home. So for this pillow making project, you don't need thread or needle or sewing machine. All you need is a scissors, and how you can tie the edges. So I'll show you how it's done. So what we're gonna do is we are going to cut the shed. Using our fabric scissors, we're gonna cut from this side down and this side down. You can use any colored shed and any fabric if you want to. So I'm going to cut this side off. So as you can see, I have two pieces. This side. You don't need your measurements to be correct. As long as you have both sides that you can put in. Okay. So we're done. What we're going to do is we are going to measure measure our bedding fiber, bedding fiber according to this size. So, our bedding fiber is this size. Okay, we're gonna put this on, yep. And then we're gonna start cutting. I'm gonna put the shirt on top of the bedding fiber and I'm gonna cut. So you can make pillows just by just by using bedding fiber. You don't need to use thread and needle. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this aside. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna cover this, cover this because this shirt is stretchable. So we're just gonna cover this and this side. After measuring our bedding fiber, what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside. We're going to cut this. So we're just going to join them together. And then we're going to cut them in strips. You can make bigger strips or it's totally up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie them first. We're going to tie these strips on the side. So you get the bottom one. You tie it. And then you join it like this. On 
once we're done on one side we'll do it on the other side this time I decided to do um, small pillows that that's why I used a small shirt we are done with one side so the next side we will do is we're gonna cut strips here and strips on the other side and also here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bedding fiber in I'm gonna put the bedding fiber in so it makes it easier to cut the strips and tie tie it while it's the bedding fiber it's in the bag okay so it's in the shirt so what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut the strips on each side and start tying We're done, as you can see we are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head our fiber in. And there you have it, something simple that you'd like to do for yourself at home and give it to your loved ones. Now, it looks cute you can get printed shirt and try something out for yourself like this one and give it as a gift and i'll see you on the other side So this time on fashion, I caught up with a makeup artist who does makeup for any occasion. And this time on Valentine's Day, if you're someone out there looking for a makeup glamour, why not check it out? And also on fashion, I'll be showing you a site that you can go and look for Valentine's outfit this Valentine. <music> Hi, I am Tammy. I am the sole makeup artist and the owner of the makeup art, which is Eye Candy by Tammy. Eye Candy for me was kind of like just anything in general, like it doesn't have to just be makeup. It can be anything in general that encapsulates beauty. Like it's like, that's, um, well, personifies beauty. Like that's just in my personal opinion. Like. The, the whole, the, the concept of makeup for me doesn't really just stem from like facial beauty alone. It kind of extends towards like the inner beauty. I think male model makeup for me kicked off more as, as an experiment. It, it started off as a trial. Like to see, I basically just wanted to gather, gather intelligence, see what people thought about it. And for the most part, um, I received, I, and I really did, I'm being very honest, I received very positive reviews for it, especially from the men that wanted the makeup. Obviously, like the, there's still a bit of a stigma in PNG that surrounds male makeup, but that's all right because at this point in time, it is still a foreign concept. It's like, it's still new, it's still fresh. Like, wait for it to get out there, wait for it to normalize as something that male models need especially male models like male model makeup all over the world has already been established as a thriving business it really has the only place i don't think that it's really kicked off uh, at in yet is png so so that's something that i'm working towards and i think at this point i'm challenging other makeup artists to move ahead and work with their male clients. Try and work with some male clients. It would definitely bring the, it definitely bring, take away the stigma, lower the stigma that's here. Like the stigma that men face towards uh, makeup, especially the male models. Like male models have received a lot of backlash for it. And I think it's really, really unnecessary because like that is their line of work. Modeling is their line of work. They have to. You go anywhere else in the world, there is no such thing as a male model photo shoot without makeup. There's no such thing. There really isn't. So I brought it here. Like, it's on the table, cards on the table. Like, you know, if you want it, like, I can provide the service. 
Okay, so what I have devised personally for Valentine's Day because ladies are always on the lookout for anything floral, anything pink, red, you know, white sometimes. Like, it's just become such a norm to look for flowers for Valentine's Day. Like, they personify growth, their beauty in itself. Like, I've always maintained that flowers are basically Earth's laughter. So, so you know, um, I've come up with this statement headpiece. Uh, as you can see, it's... um. There's a very big uh, pink flower on this side. There's a red one over here. I think there's uh, some, there's an acorn, uh, a pine cone, excuse me, a pine cone and uh, I think a peach colored flower somewhere around here. So it kind of just uh, encapsulates all the colors of Valentine's Day in one headpiece. So while the rest of my headpieces are red, while the rest of my headpieces are red, this one I've decided to give a little bit of a more natural, like a more natural look, more, uh, the statement kind of leans towards fantasy this time. So, ladies, if you're interested, these headpieces are going for 25 kina. I'm selling them on my page, or you can inbox me directly. It's either way, it's fine. Um, the sale will officially be running from February the 6th to February the 15th. Usually around Valentine's Day, people go so extra, especially with eye makeup. They incorporate like uh, tints of pink, red, white. But this uh, this Valentine's Day is interesting because a lot of the ladies that have approached me, they're going for the more natural look this time. And I think that's commendable. That's all right. Because then I give them a soft glam, a soft glam look and place more emphasis on the blush, like the blush area, like yeah, bring out the blush in their cheeks. Like, oh, you know, like it just gives the impression that they're in love. If you find that you're running out of time, like, you know, the usual salon that you would normally go to is has closed, like it's already approaching like six o'clock, eight o'clock, you know, I'm usually on call. Like I'm on call, like I arrange like central locations. Like um, you can either meet me at, uh, well, depending on where you live, like if you live downtown, okay, then I meet up with you with my team at Crown Hotel and then we can, we can deal with you there. Or if you'd prefer, if you'd prefer Stanley Hotel, like, you know, there's always places that I can, I can meet you at. It's never an issue. Hi everybody, I am Eye Candy by Tammy. So Valentine's Day is coming up. Ladies, if you need makeup, gentlemen, male models, if you need makeup, I know Mr. Mr. Cosmopolitan has started already. <laughs> if you need makeup, let me know. My Facebook page is Eye Candy by Tammy. Send me an inbox. Uh, I can also leave my contact number with you. Um, just give me a call, send me a text. I am a mobile makeup artist. I can, I can see to it. Also, ladies, if you're thinking of being a little bit extra for Valentine's Day, I am selling these, once again, Valentine's Day um, statement headpieces. Uh, they're going for, again, 25 kina, and I'll be advertising them on the Eye Candy by Temi Facebook page. If you're looking for outfits to wear on any occasion, like Valentine's Day, you can check out the Lookbook site. A lookbook is a collection of photography compiled to show off model, photographer, stylish, or clothing line. This gives viewers ideas on how to style outfits or to show what the latest fashions are. It is an especially popular term with fashion bloggers. Logbook in the online form can be described as fashion diaries because bloggers are constantly updating them on daily basis and weekly basis. However, sometimes they are made to compile looks for other people such as celebrity, politician and others. Well viewers, that was another simple outfit idea that you can do for yourself and also if you want headpieces and makeup done this valentine you can contact i candy by Tammy on the number showing on your screen now Valentine's Day is all about indulging ourselves, right? Why not try this simple recipe that you can do yourself at home and make that breakfast special for your loved ones? Hi, I'm Rosine and today I'll be baking a triple chocolate layer cake for Valentine's. 
The ingredients you'll need is 3 quarter cup of flour, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of oil, half a cup of hot water, half a cup of roughly chopped chocolate, four eggs, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And to decorate, you can use uh, sprinkles. And now onto the process. So you'll need a large bowl and a whisk. So first off, you'll add your cocoa powder and chocolate with the brown sugar. Add the hot water and just let the hot water melt the chocolate and just whisk until it's all incorporated. So once all the chocolate is melted, you can add the oil to the mixture with the vanilla extract. Once that's all mixed in, you can add your baking, your leavening, leavening agents, which is your baking powder and baking soda with your flour and add it to the mixture. And just mix until it's all incorporated. Mix after each egg. Once that's all mixed in, you can put it in your tray. So bring out the tray. You can just pour it in. It's a very liquidy batter. And it could make up to two trays. And just spread it out since it's liquidy. And you can pour the rest in the second tray. Now we're ready to bake the cake. So first off, we can put the bowl away. And just bring it onto the oven. You can bake the cake at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 18 to 20 minutes or sometimes it could take longer and take around 20 to 33 minutes. Now we can move on to the icing. And for the cake, we'll be making a cream, chocolate cream cheese icing. For the icing, you will need cream cheese, and you'll need about one and a quarter cup of cream cheese, about a, one stick of butter, which is about 100 grams, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, one and a half cup of icing sugar, and the sprinkles. Moving on to our step mixer. We'll add in our cream cheese. And let it mix for about five minutes until it's fluffy. Mm. 
now once it's a bit fluffy you can add the butter which I diced into cubes one by one and let it incorporate Just continue adding in the butter to do it two at a time or one. From time to time you can scrape the bowl down to make sure that everything is incorporated. Uh, it's about ready now and I need to put in the cocoa powder first and then the icing sugar. Just drop everything in and put the mixer on low first so it won't fly. Scrape the bowl down so you can get Once the cocoa is incorporated, you can add in the icing sugar bit by bit. Now our icing is ready, we can go get our cake now. So the fastest way of cooling down the cake is putting it in the fridge. The cake has to cool before you can put the icing or the icing will melt. I've put in a, another set of cake inside the fridge a while ago so that it can be ready. We put the icing in the icing bag with uh, one of my favorite tips, which is the star tip. And now we'll move on to our chilled cake and use our heart shaped cookie cutter to get out heart shapes. So in this cake, you can make about six or more if you have a bigger tray. You can set the rest aside for later. Now we got our three pieces of cake that we need to assemble. We get our icing and just pipe a little around the cake. This part you don't have to be really wet. And just spread it around with the spatula. Then you can add on the next layer. Once you put on your last layer, you could to make it look nicer. Using at the start tip, you could press, pull, and just do that all around the cake until you filled up all the spaces. For our last touches, you could add sprinkles or anything you want 
generally so just sprinkle it on top so there we go we have made our triple chocolate layered cake for valentine's to give to your special someone to if you want to see more of this i also make cookies and brownies or some cheesecakes if you'd like and check out my instagram page for more i also sell them so please check it out thank you And there was another simple recipe that you'd like to do this Valentine's Day and make something special for your loved ones. Well, viewers, we've come to the end of our second episode, which is the Valentine team. Now, if you want to know more about this episode, you can visit MTV online or you can contact us on the details showing on your screen now. And also viewers, my team and I are in search of talents to share our recipe with us on our show. Now all you gotta do is message us on our Facebook page, send your recipe, and then you get to be featured on House and Home and earn some money. So if I were you, I would check the flyer out, I'll message House and Home page or send an email to us. And that's all for tonight. Viewers, keep an eye out on our Facebook page for more promotion, more tips and ideas that you'd like to do yourself at home. Until then, pleasant viewing. Goodbye.